Miss Grimace, I'm here to announce that we are nearing the Centurion docks. Thank you, Harold. By the way, how is your wife? Is she still seeing her yoga instructor? Uh... If you will excuse me, I'm gonna get ready now. Yes, ma'am. Hello, Santorini. I'm once again here to grace you with my presence. Did you grab all of my stuff, Harold? Most certainly, ma'am. All right, then. Now get me to my hotel, thank you. You know, it's a shame that your wife cheats so much on you. You're a great man, Harold. Thank you, miss. Oh, my God. I need to charge my phone. I haven't posted like a Snapchat story in 20 minutes. Finally, we are here. This is your villa, miss. Um, villa? Harold, this place is not even big enough to store all my clothes I brought. Who got me this place? Because I need to fire them ASAP. Well, actually, your father handpicked this himself. He found it quite charming. Charming my ass. A girl needs her space, Harold. Don't worry. I'll give my father a call in a minute. You do that, miss. Girl power. Now give me a call if you need anything. <clears throat> Gaddy will regret this. I probably should start getting ready to go to dinner and see them again. Daddy, I'm about to go to dinner so I can't make this too long, but what the hell is that so-called villa you got me? It's not even a villa, it's like a poor people home. It's a perfectly fine house, darling. Don't be so spoiled. Now go have your dinner. Daddy, please, don't leave me here. I cannot use that house in the background of my Instagram story. Fuck you. Uh, Riley has not changed a bit. Hello there, Riley. Oh my god, Veronica, it's so good to see you, girl. Yes, you too, darling. So, how has boarding school been? Yeah, yeah, it has been fine. Are the others here too? Of course, honey. Come on, let's go say hi. Ugh, oh, I still cannot stand her. Hey, boys. Look who I ran into outside. Hello, boys. Veronica. Hello, Ty. You're, um, you look good. Tell me something I don't know. Veronica, still spicy as ever. Yeah, she hasn't changed a single bit. It is good to see you again, Isaac. Yeah, you too, girl. Okay, I am loving this reunion, but I am starving, so I'm gonna order us food and a big bottle of champagne. Well, I would say keep the champagne coming. Yeah, I could use like a whole bottle or two for myself. We are putting it on my daddy's car, so just get as much as you want. Well, you ain't gotta tell me twice. So, Ronnie, has your father forgiven you yet for that, um, incident? Oh, you're talking about the incident that was utterly and completely your fault. All right, let's keep it civil, guys. Oh, if that was like a year ago. That's like a lifetime. Let's just forget about it, okay? Oh, of course. Let's just forget about it and act like it never happened. That's your specialty, isn't it, Riley? Okay, Veronica. I think you've had enough champagne already. You should probably go get some air. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do, honey. Veronica, come back inside. You're being so childish right now. You are really calling me childish right now. I mean, come on. No, you know what is childish, Tyler? Sleeping with my best friend in my father's car and then acting like it's my fault that I set it on fire. Tyler, what are you doing? Oh, Riley. Oh, Tyler. Tyler? Riley? You guys... How dare you after everything? I know, and I said I'm sorry about that. It was a moment of weakness. A moment of weakness is not being able to resist eating a whole peanut butter jar. It's not sleeping with my best friend. I know, I know, I'm sorry. You know you are the only person that I love, Veronica. How do you expect me to trust you again, Tyler? By giving me another chance. No. You have embarrassed me enough already. Okay, fine. But you know where to find me, Eve, in case you change your mind. You know, I still love you, Ronnie. Oh, of course it starts raining the one time I decide to walk home because I'm mad. 
Veronica, get on the back of my bike. You will get sick if you walk all the way home in this rain. I would rather walk and die of hypothermia than freaking get on the back of your bike. I swear to God, Ronnie, get on the bike right now. Babe, open the door, I'm freezing. I'm trying and do not call me babe. Okay, um, thanks for getting me home. You can go now. You are insane if you think that I'm going back out there in that rain. I'm staying. Ugh, whatever. Ty, hurry up. I need to use the shower. I'm cold. I know I'm hot, but stop staring at me. Tyler, why the fuck are you in my bed? It's the only bed in this smallest place that you rented. I am not sleeping on the couch because it's bad for my posture. Then where am I supposed to sleep? Come on, princess. It's not as if we've never slept in the same bed before. Oh, whatever. I'm too exhausted to argue right now. If he dared to lay one single finger on me, I will cut off your balls. In your dreams, princess. Good night. I love you. Shut up. Oh my god, where is Tyler and Veronica? They were like, so late. Maybe they are busy, if you know what I mean. What are you talking about? Didn't you see Tyler this morning? No, he never came home after he dropped off Veronica. He spent the night at her place? I mean, if he got lucky, then I suppose so. Now why did that seem to bother you? I don't care. I couldn't care less. Are you sure that your guys is Thing bit of me more to you than if it's him? Isaac, if you don't shut your mouth, I will drown you in this pool. I will take that as a yes. If you tell a soul, I swear to God, I won't kill you. My lips are sealed. Good. <laughs> 